The Grizzlies sporting their best look as they came into the building earlier. That's how to make an entrance on the road. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. What a wonderful view of the lights of Miami here on a gorgeous night in South Florida. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. We'll watch the Miami Heat in this one as they go up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Webber. D.A. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Memphis. On Friday, the Chicago Bulls come into town, tipping off a homestand for them. Then on Sunday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the Brooklyn Nets. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. Morant and Brooks manning the backcourt. Jackson and Balanchunas, they're in the middle. And it's Jackson in at the three, the small forward. And for Miami, Bam Adebayo is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Drogic. Then it's Winslow. And it's Leonard in at the center. And the official start of the season, Chris. Uh, is there any opening day for you that sticks out in the many years you've played in the NBA? One opening game, and I, and I don't remember who we played, but I know it was with Allen Iverson. And AI and I had meetings before the season, and we were talking about just how much we wanted to win. We knew we were coming up on the end of our careers, and or I remember never entering a preseason with so much hope because I knew that he was in, I knew that I was in, and we knew that, that we both wanted it so bad. So I think we both scored 30 or did something crazy like that. I don't, I don't remember, but coming out uh, with him that preseason was so special because uh, I knew we were going to set the tone for how our team was going to play, and, and, and we were engaged that year. And here's Dragic. Pass to Winslow. Dishes it to Butler. Kicks it out to Leonard. Five to shoot. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, I was able to catch up with Eric Spolster a few minutes ago. He's looking forward to this first meeting between these teams. He told his guys, this is a fantastic opportunity to show what we've got and what we're about. But we have to protect the rim at all costs, even if that allows them to get an open shot from time to time. Well, that's an interesting strategy, guys. We'll see if it works. Thank you, David. Now here's Winslow, following the miss by Jaron Jackson. Now Winslow. To the paint here's Leonard good and the nice assist from Winslow yeah that's a good way to start the game nice inside bucket right there first quarter about a minute and a half in now here's Morant he's guarded by Dragic there's the lob to Jackson takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down yeah I don't know how you defend that Morant runs the kick and roll like a seasoned vet Here's Miami now. Outside Leonard. Trying to get open is out of bio. They retain possession. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Brooks, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage, for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. Here's Winslow. Poked away. Stolen by Jackson. And now the Grizzlies. Last break. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Oh, this is the grit and grind Balachunas gives you. I mean, someone that isn't going to give into the defense. And the emphasis on mobility, a challenge for lumbering seven-footers like Balanchunas. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you're not going to be the quickest when you're seven feet tall, Kevin. I mean, in order to earn his keep, he has to be dominant inside. I mean, he has that capability. What's up?
The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And last season, Jonas Valanciunas averaging the fewest minutes of his career. Greg, at the same time, he was playing the best basketball of his career. I mean, his scoring per minute through the roof. Rebounding at a career high level. He can dominate inside, especially at that offensive end. Right side, Dragic. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Winslow. The Grizzlies pull it in. He's going to have a tough time hitting that if he can't create a little more space for himself. Here's Jackson. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Miami. Well, his father played in the NBA. He grew up in Indiana. Uh, his father was a teammate of mine, Jaron Jackson, over at the Wizards. He took on Jordan, those guys. Uh, didn't do well. Oh, and, and let me get back to it anyway. But for Jaron Jackson Jr., you could say the game was in his blood and in the ball. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Chris and Jaron Sr., a three-point marksman, made sure his son worked on his perimeter shooting from a young age. Oh, yeah, shout out to Jaron Sr. And even as some of Junior's coaches wanted him to focus on his inside game, Dad knew better. He said, sooner or later, son, you're going to need that outside shot. And boy, was he right. That one is no good. The Heat trail by four. Morantz with the steal. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Alan Junis, good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Now, here's Dragic. He's guarded close. Pass to Winslow. Kicks to Butler. Just five on the clock. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Uh, these type of buckets fuel Butler. He welcomes the challenge of outworking the defense. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Jackson, that's good. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And it's the Heat with the ball. They trail by six. Outside Leonard. Passes to Winslow. Back to Leonard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Now with his face-up game, Myers Leonard comfortable playing at power forward or center. Yeah, Kevin, if you look at the muscle he's added, he sure looks like a pivot. I mean, seven foot one, solid, 260, the hammer. Well, that's at least what he calls himself. He's ready to bang. free throw good from Leonard and the former number 11 pick in 2012 it's taken some time for Myers Leonard but you know what Chris the last couple of seasons his offensive game really is rounding into form yeah and I wonder because he's a great shooter and a quick twitch athlete that can get his head at the rim with a strong season at the line could he be inducted into the 50 40 90 club and with the summer signing of Jimmy Butler, the Miami Heat demonstrating they still can lure star talent to South Beach. The Heat back on the rise. The Butler signing sets the stage for the summer of 2021 when they should have the cap space to sign another max player. The Heat trail by six. Stolen by Brooks. Outside Jackson. He feeds it to Morant. Rejected by Trogic. On the wing, Winslow. 
He's still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Now here's Morant. Covered by Winslow. And it's Morant missing. This quarter has been hit or missed for him. Mostly missed. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. Andre Igudala is checked in for Dylan Brooks. Grizzlies on defense. Six-point game. Now here's Dragic. He's covered closely. Leonard with no one around. Miami no good on that time either. Oh, the defense with no impact at all. Just didn't have the feel for his jump shot. Iguodala outside. And the pass to Jackson. Shoots over Leonard. That shot misses. And it's Miami the other way. Stolen by Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Jackson, there, there was no finesse on that one. Superb athlete who likes to punish the rim. Here's Winslow. And Miami calls their first time, time out. out of the game. Oh, uh, the Grizzlies are going back to the grit and grind style of last season, the slowest pace in the league. They wanted to make the game ugly and uncomfortable for opposing teams. Looking now at some numbers for Jackson. Last season's performance for him. Last season chipped in 11 points per game. Four rebounds and two assists. Year one, he had to kind of find his way, but he seems poised to make some big strides here in his sophomore season. Well, the team wants him to carve out a larger role for himself, but talent-wise, he's definitely got it. Now, here's Adebayo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Six on the shot clock. Here's Butler. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. And Chris, the Grizzlies, taking the pace out of the game. Taking teams uh, in the, quote, mud, as they put it. Yeah, Kevin, their style was built on hard-nosed, disruptive defense. I mean, last season, dead last in scoring. To win, they had to make it a rock fight. Trains it from beyond the arc. Oh, you had to close out hard on Iguodala. He's made himself a true threat from beyond the arc. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami. They trail by nine points. Fires top of the key. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Moran. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this kid, John Moran, came out of nowhere under-recruited in high school, showed some promise in that first year of college, but boy, did he blow up. Shoot two. And he makes the first. And Morant really impacts the game in every area. It's incredible, Kevin. He gives you the points, the assists, the rebounds. But then you look at the box score, and you also see a block, a couple steals. And I like that he shoots a high percentage at the line. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Olenek is checked in for Myers Leonard. Johnson comes in for Bam Adebayo. And Deion Waiters subbed in for Goran Dragic. And what really separates Morant, the intangibles. He has a great camaraderie with his teammates already. Here's Waiters. And it's Morant with the rebound. Memphis leading by 11. There's the lob to Jackson. Olenek with the steal. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And slam dunk by Butler. Uh, and the connection Butler has with his teammates, he knows when they're going to throw it his way. Now here's Morant. He's guarded by Waiters. 
Kicks it out to Iguodala. Here's Jackson. Rebound by Olenek. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Waiters surveying the D. He dishes it to Winslow. Pass the bump. Shot clock at five. The Grizzlies pull it in. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. And some changes here for the Heat. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Hero subbed in for Justice Winslow. Now here's Morant. Let's a floater go. The Grizzlies with another miss. The Heat trail by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul. First regarding the overstated pre-draft concerns about Luka Doncic. Even as the game goes international, it seemed like many GMs are scared to go all in on European players. And, and rightfully so. It's a new area, and if they're not immersed into the culture, it, it may be a little more trepidation on that end. But I would just say, uh, just just look at the really uh, the great stories, uh, whether you're talking about the Vlade Divas or the, or the Sabos that came into the game, and even if you go to Marshall I mean, all Mollis, all Dirk Nowitzki, yeah, come on, Porzingis. We got a lot of great players from overseas that have shown us that they can make the way. But the mistake would be is thinking just because someone lives close to them, they would have the game of a Dirk Nowitzki, and that's not true. So you need to do your due diligence, but uh, I, I think European players have already proved the type of heart, skill set, and mindset that they come to this game with, which is, which is at the top. Uh, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. to the middle here's hero back to Jones and the rejection by Iguodala and the ability to go vertical I mean Iguodala's a sneaky shot block clock at four waiters for three can't hit that one now the Grizzlies take it the other way just doing the job on the backboard Browder finds Anderson Good D by Jones. The Heat trail by nine. The Heat have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, Kevin, the front office shakeup this summer for the Grizzlies. Now, the new leadership wants to take more of a long-term, proactive approach to things. Grayson Allen's checked in for Morant. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And many fans in Memphis had hoped for a change. But, Chris, they still had some question marks with this new leadership. Yeah, Kevin, that's, that's because they're relatively young and unproven. A former lawyers rather than basketball minds. But we're seeing that league-wide. Teams are going with former agents and lawyers in their front office. So, timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes, Greg, it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Here's Clark, and Jones sends it back. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Here's Clark. Pass to Allen. Anderson against Johnson. Kicks it out to Allen. Over Waiters. 
that one wide left. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration. That time. Over Allen. And again, it's the Heat missing. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, when they're needing to fight from behind. The finish. And Johnson with the stop. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, and defensively, you like to see a greater effort to change ends. Now here's Iguodala. Allen surveying the D to end the cold streak. The rebound by Johnson. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. The dish now to Waiters. Passes it to Hero. Shot clock at six. Picks it to Waiters over Allen. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And taking a look now at the stats for Johnson, how he performed last season. He was around seven points per, three rebounds, and two assists. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. Yeah, and sometimes that's all they need, especially in tight games. One or two plays can make all the difference. Crowder, the pass to Anderson. It's good. And the Grizzlies lead by six. That's a great awareness being shown by Crowder. Spotted the open man and made a fantastic dish. Waiters gets a wide open look. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Over in the corner, Allen. Waiters against Zigudala. In the corner, Crowder with it. Got a hand on it. Oh, and he's the rare player with the shorter arm span than his height. I mean, Berlinic is still going to get his share of blocks. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Grizzlies lead by four. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. You learn about Jimmy Butler, difficult journey to where he is now. But one thing always got him through. Basketball, that's that. It always took my mind off everything. It always made me smile. I had no cares in the world when I was shooting. Well, you hear that so often, don't you, Greg? Between those lines can be an escape from the outside world. And in the end, Butler's obsession became his escape. Maybe why he remained so devoted to the game. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And uh, for Memphis guys, what jumps out to you, uh, stat -wise? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off, G.A., keeping things in disarray for that offense. We've got Hero. Johnson is out there with Jones. Then there's Deion Waiters. And it's Olenek in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And for the longest time, the Grizzlies looking for an answer at the small forward position. Two summers ago, they signed Kyle Anderson away from San Antonio. Yeah, Kevin, and he's a unique player. He's kind of a point forward type, very effective around the rim with his limp. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. If there's ever a successful shot that still gets your coach mad at you, that's the one. Allen kicks to Anderson. The pass to Crowder. Dishes it to Brooks. Over Waiters. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Rogic comes in for Waiters. Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. 
Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here's Dragic, and the rejection by Valanciunas. Oh, a good shot blocker who competes hard on defense. Defenders better think twice before trying Valanciunas. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. See, well, we've heard some people criticize the league's obsession with the three-pointer, saying the game is less fun to watch. You and I have talked to coaches who do not like the style of play. Would you agree with that? You know what I do, Kev, but it's all in the way that it happens. So let's talk about a team like Golden State, right. okay? Golden State shoots so many threes, right? But they don't shoot yeah. the most threes, and they have the best ball movement. And they still take the most number of twos. And so they have a balanced game. Now, they had three of the best shooters last season out of any team in, maybe in the history of the game. And they don't take the most threes. But then you have teams that have every guy shooting under 30%, and they're shooting 100 threes with no ball movement. Yeah, something's backwards. It's still about playing basketball and shooting threes, not shooting threes during a game that happens to be a basketball game, if that makes any sense. It does. Perfect sense. Josh Jackson's checked in for Memphis. And Kelly Olenek, from a basketball family, his father a successful coach, his mother a scorekeeper. He's grown up around the game. It's stolen by Adebayo. Rogic kicks to Jones. Here's Hero. Brooks covering. Olenek finds Jones. Over to the left wing. There's Rogic with the three. They get a hand on it. Memphis leading. Here's Jackson. And it's in there. Jackson's got his third basket of the night right there. And this is what you want to see. Jackson showing initiative on that drive, accepting the contact in stride. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. Only given up two points this quarter. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And the Heat with some changes. Butler comes in for Jones. And Winslow subbed in for Hero. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Hoggage against Allen. And with that shot, the Grizzly lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Dragic. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Allen with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Nice shot by Brooks. You see the confidence rising? I mean, when Brooks is firing away like this, keep feeding him. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Outside Butler. Back to Dragic. From the baseline. And that one hits back iron. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. The drive by Allen, and it's blocked. The shot by Butler, nobody around. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Uh, Three-pointers, they're not Butler's specialty, but he's a fearless scorer who doesn't set limits on this game. Pass to Valanciunas over Olenek. No good from Valanciunas. Uh, a golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, they say players are made in the summertime. And that's Jimmy Butler's favorite time of year. He calls it grimy season. Gets out in the country and puts in that work. tied up with that one and Greg those summertime workouts for Butler they are something I mean they sure are he calls them bandanas and buckets grows his hair out two a days hot yoga intentionally isolated from the hustle and bustle of the big city it gives him an excuse to really just lock in now the free throw is good now leading by one I mean an obsessive personality type Jimmy Butler back in Marquette he'd stop a fast break drill when he caught a pass with one hand instead of two and say do it over that perfectionism 
Still drives him today. Now here's Valen Junis. He's got seven. Pass to Brooks. Lock at six. Now here's Dragic, the fast break opportunity. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Wow, an explosive athlete that can beat you inside and outside. Butler's a complete player. And Jimmy Butler, a creature of habit, isn't he, Chris? Oh, yeah, Kevin. He eats the same meals for breakfast and lunch. He watches the same movies over and over. The same thing every day. It's brought him to this point, right? So why stop now? Nice pass. I mean, putting in work on the interior. Gotta love it. Rogic kicks the butt. No good from outside. For Memphis, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Jaron Jackson Jr. is the son of an NBA player. And I'm so old, I covered his dad in college. Growing up, his parents let him find his passion, but the game was always in his genes. Jackson Jr. said, I've always prided myself on being more than just a basketball player, but I can't deny my laser focus on the sport. Kevin, he's following in his father's footsteps, but looking to create his own legacy. Terrific mentor, but he's just getting started, David. Thank you. Autobio passes to Leonard. Jackson against Butler over Jackson. And he came into this league as an elite level defender. You, you gotta love seeing Jackson continuing to hang his hat on the defense. Let's it go from 14. And it's Morant missing. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Here's Dragic. Again, the miss by the Heat. The Grizzlies have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. There's more and more. We're seeing star players give their sneakers to fans at the end of games. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah, man. Especially when I was with Dada, I would give a pair of shoes away after every game. Oh, great. Really love doing it on the road. At home, is really cool. But on the road, it's great because that's where you know that fan braved all those other fans and the elements to wear your jersey <laughs> and, and to be the only one there. So you look for that kid. I used to look for the kid with the number four Weber jersey and be like, hey, kid, I know what you went through to wear that tonight. You make sure you go home with these bragging rights. Tell them these are fresh from the game when we beat your team, baby. Yeah, that's a neat way to connect. <laughs> yeah. And both free throws good for Brooks. 45th pick in the 2017 draft. Remember when Brooks led Oregon to the final four? Butler against Jackson. Passes it to Dragic. And again, it's the Heat missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, man. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Morant, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Brooks. Morant's got four points this quarter. That jumper is just looking clean, confident. Very little that Morant can't do. Rogic dishes to Winslow. He kicks it to Butler. Looking to end the run. Rebounded by Dallin Junis. Alan Junis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the foul called on Myers Leonard. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And Memphis making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. Now here's Jackson. Fires from the corner. Jackson misses. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. Uh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Down low, Leonard with the steal. Winslow with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Dragic with a wide open look. It's good. This game is all even. Dragic has got five points so far. The Grizzlies have gone five of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Now here's Morant. 
defense right on him. Give it up for the D. No fear. You risk getting posterized. You know what, though? But you still take him out. Oh, great ball movement there. The Grizzlies trail by three. To the inside, here's Valanciunas. Miami grabs the miss, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his third foul of the game. Johnson, he's checked in for Autobio. And Memphis also making a switch. Anderson's checked in. Now here's Johnson. Butler feeling out of it. Outside Dragic. Good ball movement here by Miami. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Anderson. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Here's Morant. Johnson with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And Miami making a change here. Waiters is checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Jay Crowder's checked in for Valanciunas. To stop the run. Anderson's shot is off. The Heat leading by three. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. And last year, a bit of a pivot for Justice Winslow in terms of his game. Found one of the better ways he could contribute to the team is through his developing playmaking skills. And for Winslow, he filled in at the point when Dragic was injured last season. And Winslow looked really comfortable in that playmaking role. We know he struggled with his shooting, but when he can contribute with his passing, it adds another layer to his game. Timeout called the Grizzlies. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Now here's Iguodala. And again, Memphis no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Anderson against Butler. Good work defensively by Crowder. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Here's Jackson. Trying to get open is Crowder. Jackson misses. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Heat have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. Heroes checked in for the Heat. You played for a lot of different coaches in your career, Chris. I'm sure you saw characteristics that you like in a head coach with all the different people you played for. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, you definitely want coaches that challenge you, that, that want to make you better, um, that helps with the team chemistry. But, but I would say, number one, you want a coach that understands they are such a good coach that their job is to infuse you with as much information during practice and then come game time, they trust you to go out and do your thing. They don't micromanage during the big games. They say, wait a minute, we put in enough practice time, you know what we should do, now go out there and execute. The ones that trust you, you gotta love. Right. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Well, all good things must come to an end. Iguodala was shipped out from the Warriors last year to clear room for D'Angelo Russell. Traded to the Grizzlies to make room for the Warriors in the Russell deal. Ultimately, I think will have a great legacy for his time with Golden State. Here's Allen following the score by James Johnson. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Iguodala. Uh, uh, well, that's what I would say about Iguodala's game. Relentless. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 14-3 run. Inside, Butler. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. This system is set up perfectly for him today. I mean, it's allowing him to find a lot of good shots. Now here's Iguodala. He's got six. Allen outside. 
and slam dunk by Allen. Oh, and with the fast eyes, Iguodala finding the open man. There's a minute 47 left in the second quarter. Raiders for three. And again, Miami with the triple. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Allen finds Jackson. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Miami leading by six. Waiters passes to Johnson. 109 left in the first half of basketball. Anderson against Butler. Rebounded by Jackson. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. And, and he shows us all what the breakaway rim <laughs> was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Here's Hero. With the shot. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And playing with a lot of fire now. They had a tough start in that first quarter. Didn't shoot it well, but didn't let that discourage them. And now they're showing what they can do offensively. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. A three-pointer, no good. The Grizzlies trail by six. Here's Igudala. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one's on Johnson. Oh, such smooth footwork. The understanding of the game. Iguodala drawing the foul in close. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. good on the free throw didn't have a free throw in the first quarter but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now he has a tougher attitude a different look for Miami Olenek he's checked in for Myers Leonard and Jones subbed in for Butler and Memphis also making a switch Clark he's checked in for Anderson and he sinks the second Oh, he turns it up. And though Iguodala has become a long-range shooting threat, he still managed to struggle from the line. All oh, the officials are all over that one. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, yeah. No need to get the ball back here. You want to close this quarter with momentum. Here's Allen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Grizzlies have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. First free throw is good. And 
Ryan Allen drops them both. From deep three-point range, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. Nice defense there. That's Crowder's focus every time he takes the court. Jimmy Butler has been on display for Miami. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Big time play throughout the first half for Jimmy Butler. He had 18 points, two assists, and two rebounds. In their previous game, he had a performance he said he wanted to put behind him quickly, and so far he's doing just that with the nice first half he had here. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the Heat? Really great rebounding effort, Ernie, so far. They're putting up some nice numbers in that category. That's the big difference in the first half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. They played some solid team basketball, Ernie. Pretty good. They were showing the ball. We saw some nice feeds, a lot of movement. It wasn't five individuals out there. It was one cohesive unit. And they got the assist to show for it. Their rhythm was nice. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. There's Winslow. So on the four from Memphis. Jackson and Valanciunas, they're in the middle. Iguodala out there with Brooks. And it's Jackson in at the small forward. Gets it to go. That one good from Otto Bio. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Brooks outside. Jackson against Butler. Brooks left side. Five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. No good. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. And the rejection by Jackson. Stolen by Winslow. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Brooks outside. Iguodala outside. The feet of Alan Junis. Knocks it loose. Leonard with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. Nuggets looking it over. But they recover it. And here's Adebayo. Outside Butler. Launches a three. And Alan Junis pulls it down. Alan Junis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Jackson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, the third youngest player ever to drop 30 in the game. Jaron Jackson Jr. looking like a great starting piece for the Grizzlies rebound. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And 
And that one falls for Jackson. And Chris, he was the third big man taken in the 2018 draft. But in time, Jaron Jackson could prove to be the best. Oh, oh, yeah, he definitely could. I mean, he has a high ceiling, but also a high floor. Why is that? He doesn't have the ball in his hands to be successful with his defense and perimeter shooting. He can already impact winning in a complimentary role. Jackson hits both of them. Well, he leading by five. Rogic finds Leonard. There's Winslow. Now Drogic, he's got five. Leonard, the pass to Winslow. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. The pass to Valanciunas. Out to the right wing. Morant with a wide open look. Off target from three point range. Butler goes in. Here's Leonard. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on Yunus Valanciunas. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse letting him roll that freely on the glass. Now here's Morant. Eight points for him. Jackson kicks to Morant. Off target from outside. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Here's Otavio. And the rejection by Jackson. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Morant passes to Jackson. Pass to Morant. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it from 20. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Jackson's got 10 points in the game. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. There's Krogic with the three. He's off on that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. He's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack for him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. You know, these are the guys you need to be aware of if you don't want your pocket pit. <laughs> Here are last season's steals. Fifth, Jimmy Butler. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. And that one falls for Brooks. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Leonard dishes to Winslow. To the paint, here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Oh, from role player to star, Butler's transformation has been fun to watch. Now he racks up points with ease. Now here's Brooks. Seven points in the game. Kicks it to Morant. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And purely from a physical standpoint, John Morant has it all. The height, the long arms, the frame to put on more weight. And few players are more explosive athletically. And with Morant, you not only get the physical attributes, Greg, you get the mental toughness and awareness. Yeah, this kid loves to compete. The bigger the game, the bigger he plays. I think we're looking at a potential all-NBA performer when it's all said and done. A uh, defensive breakdown, and they can't capitalize. He'll hit that shot almost every time. Feeds to Jackson. He dishes it to Morant. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Taking a look here at numbers for Dragons. How he did last season. Last season, he averaged 13 points a game, five assists, and three rebounds. 
and you, you like what he brings backing up the point guard. Yeah, no doubt. He knows how to run this offense. He's a tremendous asset to this team coming off the bench. The first one falls. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Miami leading by five. Pass to Autobio. Winslow with it. Passes it to Butler. Trying to get open is Autobio. Four on the clock. There's Winslow. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Alan Junis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Down low, Leonard with the steal. Here's Butler. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his fifth assist in this one. Now here's Morant. He's got 11. Left side, Jackson. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Valanciunas. Oh, with great size and interior instincts, Valanciunas, he's such a threat around the rim. Leonard finds Winslow. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, for the last five years, the Golden State Warriors have been the colossus that stood over the NBA. And there were thoughts that most teams were not willing to do things to be competitive, knowing that they could not beat the Splash Brothers, Draymond Green, and then Kevin Durant. But the Warriors' loss to the Raptors in the finals last year, combined with the injuries to Durant and Clay Thompson, have opened things up. And for the first time in a long time, there are any number of teams in this league that believe it's their time. Probably so. The West is strengthened. There's no doubt, D.A. Interesting matchups coming up for sure. Thank you. Here's Morant after the made shot from Goran Dragic. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down to five there. Thanks for the basket from Morant. And how about the body control? Morant, even when under duress, stays calm, cool, and collected. Miami's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Bounce pass, Dragic. Butler against Brooks. From 12 feet out. And it's Butler missing. Now I think he lets the D get to him there, and he rushes it. I mean, he has plenty of space there if he just takes his time. Anderson passes to Crowder, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, this is the attitude Anderson brings, a selfless player who loves giving it up to his open guys. And there's the pass to Olenek. Dragic with it. He's picked up by Morant. And they double up up. There's Dragic with the three. Wow, came this close to a four-point boy. He'll head to the line for three free throws. That one's on Morant. He's off on the first. And the veteran, Goran Dragic, still producing late in his career. Not the force he once was, but always a source of playmaking and scoring. James Johnson's checked in for Miami. Deion Waiters comes in for Jimmy Butler. Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Grayson Allen comes in for Brooks. Now here's Morant. He's got 13. Pass to Anderson. Just five to shoot. Over Jones. Off the left rim and out. Now you look at the career of Dragic. Greg, he's always been a scoring point guard. Yeah, and as Dragic has aged, he has learned 
to lean more and more on his outside shot. Even when his first step and speed start to falter, he'll find ways to put up points. And not going to let him get that easy dunk. Defense stopping the easy two, but a foul called and a trip to the free throw line instead. Free throw good from Anderson. And out of UCLA, forward Kyle Anderson. Some call him slow-mo. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> well, I mean, not the most athletic player. Uh, it's his size and IQ for the game, though, that makes him so effective. And Miami making a change here. Heroes checked in. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Memphis. Second free throw, no good. The multi-talented Anderson. I mean, he, he's awesome, man. He, he's an awesome glue guy, if you ask me. Someone who scores, rebounds, passes, defends. I mean, name it. He does it. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Saturday, they'll be matching up against Eric Bledsoe and the Milwaukee Bucks. Then on Sunday, they'll be playing the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And for that game against the Hawks, that's a contest that could Take a break. easily Take a break. go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. First free throw is good. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Anderson outside. Iguodala outside. And again, Memphis no good. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Waiters, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Waiters got nine points. They are just killing them on the interior. From 10 feet out, and again, Memphis no good. The Heat leading by nine. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And Memphis making a change here. Jones has checked in. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. Here's Jones. Anderson up top. Outside Crowder. Back to Anderson. Over Johnson. That one a little long. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Hero. Leaders on the wing. Six to shoot. Again, the miss by the Heat. And it's Jones with the ball for the Grizzlies. It's a 10-point game. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Miami's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Waiters outside. Outside, Jones. From outside, off the mark. The Grizzlies trail by 10. To the middle. Here's Crowder. It's tipped. And there's the foul on Jay Crowder. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Brooks checked in for Jones. And he makes both free throws. So his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Iguodala outside. To stop the drought, he takes it up and lays it in. Iguodala's got 11 points. 
Oh, the rugged physicality Iguodala brings to the game is special. What a performer this guy is. 136 left to play here in the third. Iguodala against Waiters. Outside, Jones lets it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Crowder's got rebound number five here tonight. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Clark, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And here's a look at the numbers for Waiters. Last season's performance for him. He was around 12 points a game. Two assists and two rebounds. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. Yeah, and sometimes that's all they need, especially in tight games. One or two plays can make all the difference. Goran Dragic is checked in for Hero. So Clark nails both of them. The potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. Now here's Waiters. He's got 10. 56 seconds left to play in the third. Nice D from Brooks. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Iguodala kicks to Crowder. This one for three. Good on the three-point shot. He has five. He's worked a lot on his three-point shot. Crowder makes enough where it has to be on. Rockets against Iguodala. From the line. It's rebounded by Memphis. It's stolen by Dragic. Good work there as it goes. Oh, look, when the D will give it to you, that's where you want your shots coming from. Arms length from the bucket. Here's Igudala. Excellent D there from Waiters. And the activity he showed around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. One is off. And he's good on the second. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. And Iguodala's ability to match up at a number of positions, that's just a big part of his defense right now. And so it's the Miami Heat with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Back to the action after this word. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Here's Iguodala. Dragic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. James Johnson is out there with Olenek, and it's Jones in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now here's Iguodala. Pass to Clark. Shot clock at six. No good with the triple. The Heat leading by six. 
And here is Waiters. They get it back, and the shot goes down. 11 points for James Johnson. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Pass to Brooks. Here's Clark. He's guarded by Dragic. Here's Igudala. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Waiters for three. Bangs home the trifecta. And that gives him two three-pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. The drive by Iguodala. And that one drops. And getting a quick head of steam. Iguodala beats the defense to the punch. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Miami. They have a nine-point lead. Leaders on the wing. And that's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his seventh assist here tonight. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Leonard, he's checked in for the Heat. Justice Winslow comes in for Waiters. Memphis also making some changes. Valanciunas, he's checked in for Crowder. Jaron Jackson comes in for Anderson. And Josh Jackson subbed in for Clark. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. You don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Unloads from 13. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Uh, he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. And the first one drops. And the Heat with some changes. Bam Adebayo comes in for Olenek. And it's Jimmy Butler in for James Johnson. Both shots good from the strike. Well, Heat leading by eight. Outside Dragic. He kicks it to Butler. Now the pass to Leonard. To the inside. Out of bio. Another shot. Pass to Winslow. Stolen by Brooks. And now the Grizzlies, fast break. And it's Dragic with the rebound. Dragic has got four rebounds in this game. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Got a piece of it. And so here's Memphis. Alan Junis finds Brooks. Baseline jumper. Iguodala outside. Pulls up. High post. They get it again. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Valanciunas. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Now Brooks. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Jackson. Here's Valanciunas. No good there. Great D that time from Leonard. And, and they continue to control the glass. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Jackson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. That's 12 points for Jaron Jackson. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, now, now that's how you mount a comeback. They're not all the way back, but they're getting close. There's Winslow. 
Jaron Jackson making his last shot. Outside Dragic. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. The Grizzlies trail by four. Iguodala outside. Pass to Brooks. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Rocket six. Back to Brooks from 10 feet out. Second shot opportunity. Valanciunas and another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Dragic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Heat lead by four. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Memphis. Right side, Jackson. He feeds it to Valanciunas. Outside for Jackson. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Miami leading by four. Outside Dragic. Now the dish to Butler. Over Jackson. Rebounded by Jackson. And here are the Grizzlies. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. Here's Valanciunas. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, man, I love watching Valanciunas score the ball. He makes it look so easy. And he makes the defense feel uneasy out there. And the first one at the line is good. In his native Lithuania, Jonas Valanciunas is the star for his national team, making his debut at age 19, becoming the leader for his country. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. He lobs up the alley you pass. And that's why you don't let him get positioned deep in the post. Oh, just too big of a threat down there. I mean, he has a number of go-to moves at his disposal. Iguodala against Winslow. Jackson dishes to Jackson. Nailed from three-point land. Jackson's got nine points here in the second half. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. It's Trogic with the drive. And here's Leonard from three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Jackson's got his fifth rebound in this one. And he banks in the layup. And the Grizzlies lead by one. Yeah, how about the composure down low for, for Jackson? He's showing all the tools in that toolbox, becoming very efficient when attacking the rim. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for Memphis. They've led by as many as 11 points. Down low, here's Brooks. Off on the layup. Defends the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. Outside, Dragic kicks to Butler. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Oh, the competitive mindset of Butler. He's great at figuring out different ways to create for himself. The first one falls for him. And so Butler nails both of them. Well, look, we all know Butler wants to win. He knows he's in the prime years of his career. He's hungry for titles. Adebayo against Iguodala. It's blocked, and they get it back. 
got a piece of it. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Dragic. Outside Leonard. Tries it from 19. Well, now, this is the energy you want from Valanciunas. He does a nice job there contesting without foul. Miami grabs the miss. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. The Heat with the lead. Dragic with it. Dishes to Winslow. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And he makes the first. He doesn't get the second one. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs him. Passes it to Brooks. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. Rebs checked in for the Grizzlies. Miami's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And it's Dragic off the drive. Trying to get open is out of bio. Dragic the pass to Winslow. Back to Dragic from the arc. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. 16 points for Gordon Dragic. Well, he's not focused on the D on most possessions, but you can forget about him altogether. And here's Brooks from outside. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Here's the pass to Leonard. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. His touch has been off tonight, and, and, and now his judgment is off, too. I mean, come on. It's not a smart shot. And Jackson is a leader. A guy you can count on to take and make important shots. Well, he leading by three. Rogic finds Leonard. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Josh Jackson. Clearly a foul. Shooting two. No good on that one. And Miami making a change here. Olenix checked in. Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Uh, uh, not what you expect out of him. He was uh, due to cool off a little, I guess. Easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. And the Heat call time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Goran Dragic. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up with the heat. Knocked loose. And slam dunk by Clark. And the first thing I thought of, confidence from Clark. Knows his team needs a bucket and goes out and gets it. Miami's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Dragic dishes to Winslow. 
Butler against Jackson. Pass to Dragic. Takes the three. No good that time. And Memphis the other way now. Here's Clark. Inside to take the lead. And Winslow pulls it down. Winslow's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Dragic with the basket on the assist by Winslow. Winslow's got assist number five here tonight. Here's Clark. Second chance shot. Jackson passes to Crowder. Some nice passing there by Memphis. On deep. Brooks misses. He's shooting about 40% here in the fourth quarter. Shoots from the baseline. Bucket is good. Now it's a four-point heat lead. What a shot over the bigger defender. That could prove to be a massive bucket. Any closer to the hoop, and that shot probably gets blocked. Jackson misses. The rotation of the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Winslow wide open. He fires. They get the rebound. Butler no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's just great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They thought they could count on him to make crucial shots. And for the Heat, they're shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. And Josh Jackson picks up the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Melton's checked in, and he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Uh, they get what they want out of that trip. Uh, you know, now with two possession game. Memphis has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. There's the feed to Jackson. It counts, and he has brought them to within two points. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. Here's Butler. Rejected by Crowder. Big defensive play by Crowder. Snuffing him out there. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. It's in! And how cold-blooded is Jackson. He knows how to step up when the game is on the line. And, guys, this is where their depth really comes into play they've got such talent at that position they'd love to have him out there but they won't suffer much of a drop off Allen's checked in for DeAnthony Mel that one misses from Jackson and they are excited about Jackson a high motor guy with a ton of room to grow and also displays terrific leadership on both ends. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Now here's Butler. Out to the wing. There's Dragic with the three. Well, they'll get another chance. Misses the three. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena.
And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Here we go. It'll be the heat off the tip. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. Taking a look at the Grizzlies. Brooks is out there with Allen. And there's Jackson. And there's Jackson. And it's Rhea in at the center position. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And here's Dragic. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Adebayo. Yeah, easy call. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Jay Crowder's checked in for Ram. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Outside Crowder. On the wing, Jackson over Butler. Jackson misses. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Memphis trailing here. Allen with it. Now guarded by Winslow. Allen kicks to Jackson. The three ball. Allen shot is off. The Heat have gone one of three from the floor since the start of overtime. And it's Butler with the jam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Allen. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Shot clock at five. The Grizzlies with another miss. Miami leading by four. There's Krogic with the three. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. Now Drogic. It's stolen by Allen. Outside Jackson. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. We're in overtime. If you've just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. Dragic with it. That one's not going to go. Good work defensively by Crowder. The drive by Allen. Oh, oh wow. wow. Look out. That's a beautiful no. jam. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. There's Winslow. Grizzlies making the shot. Olenek finds Dragic. Makes it off the glass. Dragic has got four points now in the quarter. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Pass to Jackson. Over a 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Wrong guy to put on the line in a close game. You know he's not going to miss. The Heat have gone a shade under 50% from the floor here in overtime. And they've hit three of seven. Well, their pass to Winslow. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Winslow's got it all tied up now for the Heat. And this is the level of unselfishness that Butler brings. A total pro who moves the ball well. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent. The avoiding foul in and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. The Grizzlies have gotten off to a 4 for 8 start from the field in overtime. Allen finds Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Miami's gone one of three from three-point range since the end of regulation. Jackson against Butt. There's Winslow right between the eyes. That shot eliciting a roar from this gigantic crowd. Guys, more than a roar, more like an explosion. To the paint, here's Jackson. It's in! Good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And the Heat call time here. They're behind by one. There's 42 seconds left in the first overtime. There's Winslow. It drops. Well, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. And here are the Grizzlies now. Allen outside. Yes! The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And the Heat called time here. They're trailing by one. 27 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Butler against Jackson. Money! Now he's just unfazed by the pressure. Olenek delivery. Jackson. Back to Allen. He kicks to Jackson. It's over a Linick. Oh, missed it. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and, and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy, how confident are you that you guys can build on this win and keep the momentum going? Very confident. Uh, like I said, we got a great group of guys. Uh, we play together, play hard. Um, we can win. I know you'll luck to keep that going as we go on in the season. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.